Thanks, Dennis. Honestly, Debs, I could kill Alec. As men used to say, the ends justifies the means. Yeah, except nobody could understand her through her dribble. <laughs> this is great, Debbie. I wanted to talk to you, away from Mother Superior. Oh, she means well. Norman Lamont meant well. <laughs> so, I'm thinking of moving in with Roy. Say something. Why? What do you mean, why? Because he's asked me. Well, that's very selective of you, Debs. <laughs> but we're not talking about the same Roy, are we? Not that big Welsh rabbit with an IQ lower than your average cat flap. So you went out with him for seven months. I was drunk. <laughs> so I want to have kids. My body clock's ticking so loud, my gynaecologist has gone down with industrial deafness. <laughs> about Trevor? Oh. oh, but Roy, he's, he's... Well, he's Roy, isn't he? There must be some other way. Well, I don't exactly see a cue forming. I'm 34 years old. Won't be long before I'm dribbling like Nan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but Roy... He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. Oh, Harry, buck up. There's no point in depressing yourself. Not when I'm eating. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Vera. Oh, it's Jamie around. Porsche. No, I'm sorry. I'm afraid he's gone out. Did you tell him I rang about lunch? Yes. Didn't he call you back? No. Oh. Oh, well, I knew he meant to. He loves me not. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. I'll try him again later. Vera. I'm just popping out for lunch. I won't be a. Si oh, hello, Porsche. Hello, Alec. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, Apart from getting stood up by that son of yours again. Oh, the cad. It's all right. I know he's very busy at the moment. Is he? Yes, yes, he is. He is. <laughs> oh, I tell you what, though. I've been wanting to have a chat with you. <laughs> How about allowing me to buy you lunch at our new wine bar? I always did prefer older men. <laughs> Flattery will get you a terrific lasagna, young lady. Come on. <laughs> Hillary, I'll be... Oh. I broke my earring. <laughs> Rossmore. It was brilliant. I had the time of my life. I thought so. Jamie said you hated the place. I hate what it stands for, but I've always been the kind of girl who knows a good party when she sees one. <laughs> Sherbet dabs and ginger pop after lights out, huh? <laughs> it was thanks to my glorious alma mater that I learned how to drink scotch, smoke pot, and go out with older boys. All at the same time. <laughs> On a motorbike. <laughs> Happy days. <laughs> well, why the interest? Well... You're not thinking of putting the baby's name down, are you? Well, uh, no, no. Of course not. <laughs> I've always believed that sort of place is the last bastion of middle-class privilege. My sentiments exactly. I mean, it's not as if I was some kind of raving old Tory or anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, um, have you and Jamie agreed a time yet when you can come round and dinner? Not that I know of. He hasn't mentioned it. But he... Would... To be honest, I haven't seen him for a few weeks. My little boy's really starting to miss him. So am I, but you know how it is. Work comes first. Uh. I must tell you about Rothmore's sixth form production of O Calcutta. It's hysterical. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you're early. Come to measure up Flair for a straw boater. No, I just thought I'd come home and uh, give these to my wife. Tiger lilies? And say I'm sorry. About? Hi. Was wrong of me to try to put Flair's name down without talking it through with you first. Yeah, you still want her to go, though, don't you? No, no, I've, uh, I've changed my mind about that as well. Really? <laughs> oh, thank you, Alec. <laughs> oh, it means so much to me. But you seem so adamant. I well, I had a spot of lunch with young Portia today. She actually went to Rosmore. 
She said the most terrible things about the place. <laughs> Do you know, they used to... Hold on a minute. Hmm? Have I got this right? You wouldn't listen to my opinion, your wife and the mother of your child's opinion, but suddenly the right honourable Lady Portia makes a few noises over a spot of lunch and you do a complete U-turn. No, 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 sorry, it wasn't like that. Well, what was it like? Well, it was just... Oh, don't worry, Alec, I shouldn't really blame you for not listening to me. I mean, why should you? I was only educated at a state school. I'm probably too thick to say anything that matters. Zoe, look, that's not fair. So... <sighs> it's going to be another long night, Perry. <laughs> Three days, 11 hours, 27 minutes and 14 seconds since I last saw my Derek. <laughs> I say, I say, I say, what do you call a judge with no fingers? Just his thumbs. <laughs> You'll like this one. What do you call a man? Baby, take a seat. Now, what's going on between you and Portia? Nothing. You're a rotten liar for a lawyer. <laughs> I saw her yesterday. You've been avoiding her. You seeing someone else? What? No, no, I wouldn't do a thing like that. I don't have time the way you work me. What is it then? It's Portia's little boy. Don't you get on, is that it? Oh, no, I do. He's a great kid. So what's the problem? The other week, we were in the park playing and... he called me Daddy. And then what? I don't know, I passed out. <laughs> Poor lad hardly sees his father. I mean, what else is he to think? No, you don't understand. I'm glad he likes me. I like him, but I'm scared. Well, he's already lost one dad, and if Portia and I were to split up, it just wouldn't be fair on him. Do you think he will split up? You never know what's going to happen in relationships. Oh, that's true enough. And the more I see her and Nicky, it's just too risky. Have you talked this through with Portia? No, I can't face her. Why not? not? Well, I don't want to hurt her. You're already doing that, you lummox. Look, she's an intelligent girl. She'd appreciate your honesty. No way, I can't do that. So you're just going to carry on keeping out of her way, is that it? I don't have any choice, Dad. I'm, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. <sighs> Kids. If I get really old and lonely, like you used to be, <laughs> I can always get myself a cat and call it Little Derrick after my Little Derrick and have it stuffed after you. Could you take that into Mr Callender? Yeah, I suppose so. Thank you. Jamie, could I have a word? The proper names count. It's about him. She's really upset about her Derrick. You couldn't possibly take her out for an evening, could you? A whole evening? <laughs> It would really cheer her up, and you'd be doing us both the most enormous favour. How come? Well, if she carries on moping about like this, I'm going to have to drown her. <laughs> Where can I take her? Where's Dark? There's that new wine bar. It's just opened, and she's free tonight. Yes, sir. Oh! Coming, Mr Callender. Right now, Mr Callender. Can I borrow your telephone, Mr Callender? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hit me now so the bruises have time to fade. <laughs> Hello? Surprise! Who are you expecting? Only you. <laughs> Being in love means sometimes having to say you're sorry. This must be a dream sequence. I just wanted to show you that I can back down, like you did. Did I? Well, Fleur's not going to Rothmel, so it's daft. You and me not talking, or, um... See, I'm not so stubborn, am I? Oh, perish the thought, my little Betty Boothroyd. And it just so happens I have a particularly fine Chateau Neuf du Pape 1985 just waiting to be guzzled. Huh. What do you say? Is Fleur asleep? Yeah, she had some earlier. What are we waiting for, then? To us. <laughs> to us. 
and no more fights. <laughs> anyway, it's not as if she's a boy, is it? Don't push your luck, Alec. <laughs> Oh, thanks ever so much for asking me out tonight, Jamie. It's really got me out of my pit of anguish too. Me too. Those stories about you and Derek are really interesting. Really? Hmm, honestly. I think the uh, 86 to 87 period was my favourite. Mind you, Christmas 84 had its own drunken charm. And you ain't seen the photos yet. No, 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 not at the moment. <laughs> I'm still savouring the cassette of Derek burping the theme from oh, Neighbours. Yeah. <laughs> no. What? Hillary! Derek! Oh, blimey. What are you doing with more Hillary? Well, I'm not with her. Well, yes, I am with her, but I'm not with her. You understand? Yeah. So what are you doing with my Hillary? Watch my lips. Watch my fist. You listen here, Derek. It was you what said you wanted to see other people, and what's good for the goose is cooked. So don't you go being all right on my date. Bad choice of words, Hillary. Shut up, Jack. I'm not happy, Hillary. I'm not happy. Oh, I don't want either of us to see other people no more. Especially you. All right? All right? All right, Derek. You're the cream in my toffee. Don't you just love him when he's masterful? Love him. We better go now, Hillary. No hard feelings, Jamie. Best man won, Derek. Yeah. Come on, Hillary. Like the photo's gonna have to wait till tomorrow, Jamie. Hillary. <laughs> Mrs. Leveson is here to see Jamie about her divorce. Oh, sorry, Mr. Callender. He won't be long, Mrs. Leveson. It's, right. it's just that Derek's asked me to marry him till death does its part. Oh, that's wonderful, wonderful. Do you know, Miss Flood, I think it was fate that brought Derek into the wine bar last night. We've got a fatal attraction. <laughs> Oh, I think I can hear him now, Mrs. Leveson. Lovers in the air, oh, everywhere. Oh, look around. Jamie. Lovers in what? Mrs. Leveson, would you like to come and wait in here? Oh, my voice isn't that bad, is it? Yeah, I won't be. <laughs> OK, that's all right. Good morning, Jamie. Morning. How are you? Fantastic, Dad, fantastic. I saw Portia last night in the wine bar. No. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, you were right. We uh, talked and we both agreed that we should just take things as they come. And gosh. I wonder who told her I'd be there. <laughs> you never know who fate will bring through your door, do you? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Zoe! Oh, oh, Alec, I've got to talk to you. Yeah, yeah uh, uh, Jamie, look, go and look after your client, will you please? Sorry, Dad. Oh, Zoe, I'm getting married! <laughs> oh, that's wonderful, Hilary. When? Well, Derek reckons it'll be sometime between the end of the football season and the start of the World Snooker Playoffs. Later, Hilary, later. Yeah, or possibly later. <laughs> Well, then, what is it? It's Rothmore. They've replied to your application. What, but she's not going. I told you that. Well, you can tell me that, Alec, but I'm not having bloody Rothmore telling me. What are you talking about? They've turned Fleur down. What? <laughs> well, it's their prerogative. They're saying that my daughter isn't good enough for them. It's discrimination. But you didn't want her to go. Oh, don't change the subject, Alec. It's the principle. Oh, not them again. I mean, who do they think they are, rejecting my daughter? Just because we haven't got a hyphen in our name or a plum in our mouth? You, you talk know, I'm to a Perry, will you? <laughs> Yeah.